uh, Chris Chinock here for Display Central and, and JVC's theater when we're here with Rod Sterling. And uh, what, what's, your, what's your title, Rod? I'm the chief engineer for JVC. Great. Thank you. Now, there's actually uh, two projection products that we want to talk about uh, uh, that you're showing here this year. Uh, one is the new 4K eShift product, which is in the theater next door. Uh, and in back of us is a prototype of a new hybrid projector uh, aimed at the simulation market. So tell us, what, what is the architecture for this, this uh, hybrid system? Because hybrid means different things to different people. <laughs> yes. Uh, the key part of this is the uh, laser, uh, the basic engine, the core of it has a laser uh, for the blue channel. So you have a laser diode that's driving the blue and it is also driving a, a phosphor uh, that uh, will then emit a yellow light. So that l the yellow light is incoherent. And we split that into red and blue colors. And then we use the blue to drive the, uh, the rest of the engine. We mix it up so that you don't have any coherent problems and uh, basically despeckles the whole thing. Right. So we don't have a problem with speckle that you normally associate with lasers. We also uh, gives us a very long lifetime because we don't have UV to deal with. It normally degrades. And because it's a laser, LCOS is a very good solution uh, combination uh, where other technologies aren't quite as good. Laser and LCOS are a good matchup. So we get very high performance. Uh, we're the first to introduce it into the AV or the simulation right. world. Uh, again, uh, it's a good matchup with the LCOS uh, to, to work into the market where people want to go away from uh, the lamp-based systems and uh, other environmental things that right. lamps bring with it. Okay. Like now, the light output is about uh, 1,200 lumens. That, that seems to be adequate for the simulation market? That's very adequate for the market here that we're in for the, uh, okay. uh, both the uh, military and the commercial. And what's, what's the contrast ratio you're getting out of this one right now? I know it's a prototype. But yeah, this uh, well exceeds uh, 20,000 to 1. Okay, very, okay, so still state of the art. That's great. Okay, so it's, it's, it's actually very similar to the engine that you have right now. You just replace the lamp with this, this hybrid source, essentially. Yeah, this is actually our current model 20, VS2200, uh, where we've eliminated. It fits in the same package. We're going to offer it in the same size, so it's easy to upgrade. Uh, if you already have our 21 or 2200 products, okay. and uh, it'll be the same basic size, weight, power, et cetera. All right. And uh, you're int introducing it here now because of this, uh, the, the design cycles in the simulation world. It allows your customers to start to design this into the next generation products. So when you can deliver this in probably a year or so, everything will be golden. Yes, yeah. We're targeting for the early part of 2015 to have them on the available. Okay. Okay, good. Uh, so let's talk about the uh, the e shift projector, which is in the the room next door here. And now you you introduced the e shift projector, um, I think three years ago for the for the home market. Uh, but this is the first time you've introduced it to the simulation market. And as you explained to me earlier, the part of the reason was that you, that you needed basically dual HDI uh, inputs to deliver a 4K signal. So explain how this architecture works a little bit. Well, with the simulation in our home market, we can do a lot of processing that on video, but in the simulation world, it's uh, IG-based and uh, a little bit different market and a lot more horsepower put on the image rendering. Right. Uh, so the same inputs and in architecture didn't work. Uh, so by having a dual input, we're able to input the bandwidth we need. So we're basically giving double the bandwidth over existing technology because some of these systems go back or, you know, several years old uh, and the graphic cards, et cetera. Uh, so we're staying with the standard HDMI 1.4 type interface, so we're not leading out there, but we're inputting it with two channels. Now the eShift allows us to process 120 hertz data, but we input it on 260 hertz lines, so we're not pushing that part of the processor, but the graphic card then can be either upgraded or used okay. uh, so that you can input both signals, uh, do the shift, and you have effectively 120 hertz at a 4K precision. Right. So the way you, uh, I understand it, and correct me if I'm wrong here, is you basically the IG is running at a 1080p resolution, but it does the e-shift processing in the, in the IG at 120 hertz, and then outputs it basically on, on two channels at 60 frames each, 
so that that can be delivered to the projector where that's all interleaved and e-shifted to create a 4K image on screen or an effective 4K image. Yes, uh, we get a basically a double the bandwidth in. We get about a net 5.1 megapixel actual display uh, measured the way uh, the simulation guys like to look at it. Right. Uh, so we've uh, doubled it up in the same chassis so you get that extra performance. Uh, the e-shift also adds the advantage that we don't have any light hit uh, for the normal smear reduction that you associate in this market. And we, uh, uh, because we're operating 120, uh, it also give what we call an intelligent smear reduction. So we're actually putting data out instead of an in, uh, interpolated information. We, it's real data at each frame. Right, right, right. Because that's all generated in, in the IG. And it's also important to note that this is a, a 1080p projector. It's a 1080p IG. Um, but the e-shift is a, is a technology you develop to actually uh, time sequentially shift that image. So you put up a, a 1080 image and you shift it uh, a half a pixel left, half a pixel down, and you, you uh, refresh it in the next cycle to create that, like I say, an effective 4K image, uh, but uh, five megapixels as, as they measure it in this industry. Correct? Correct. That's the easy way of saying it. That's the easy way. Okay. And, and I think the other, uh, I think, key benefit, not only do you have the high contrast, the low smear reduction with the approach, but now everything is based on, on 1080. So the cost of this versus a 4K system would be perhaps uh, half or so? Half or less, yeah. It depends on the latest graphic cards. Now you may even get it much less than that because you can drive it with a single card. Right. So uh, we're seeing uh, initially it, th it looked like it was going to be much more, but uh, as our Integrators are finding out once they put their heads together in the IG, they're seeing it's a very, very cost-effective way to increase a vertical field of view, and get more pixels on the screen, improve smear reduction, right. and still keep a very low cost. Wow. Sounds great. I'm sure you get a lot of positive reaction to that. <laughs> so when, when will this be available? We start shipping next month. Excellent. Rod, thank you very much, Good yeah. and good luck with this. Thanks, Chris. Chris Chinock for Insight Media.